Hey, I'm John Bender Waffles Al Jets, and today all things must come to an end. It's been a pretty long and crazy road, hasn't it? When I first posted the initial episode of this series back in August of 2015, I had no idea the kind of reception that it would get. And it's been great. Over two years and 26 videos in the main series at least. And now it's time for us to finish what we started. Today we are taking the final steps in the development process together. And that is releasing the game. Now, in a previous addendum video, I covered how to actually deploy your game and make an executable. You can check out the card in the corner if you haven't seen that. Let's talk about your options for actually getting it into the hands of players. First up, where to host the actual files. Pretty much any cloud storage service can work for this, though I highly suggest Google Drive as it is easy to use and you can get a shareable link to your files pretty easily. If this is your first game, odds are you're not going to be selling it, which means platforms such as Steam are pretty much out of the question and as such are not really going to be covered here. Don't worry though, there are plenty of resources online to help you get it on there if you do choose to go that way. My suggestion, however, would be to release it for free on any number of forums or websites preferably several. First and foremost, there is the official RPG Maker forums. That is probably the largest community of RPG Maker users, so it is a natural choice. There's also the RPGMaker.net forums that I've always found to be extremely welcoming and quite knowledgeable. So they are bound to have great feedback on your work. However, the absolute best place I would say is the RPG Maker subreddit, where I am sure several of you found this series to begin with. I cannot stress enough how wonderful this community is. The most friendly, helpful, and amazing people I have ever had the privilege of working with within the community all came from that subreddit. And without them, these videos would not be what they are. You can also, of course, post your game on places such as Facebook, Twitter, and even MySpace if you're releasing a game in 2005. People such as Trockzool from the Gelsti Project, I'll never be able to pronounce that correctly, I'm sorry Trock, and Dragonite Spam have both successfully used social media to draw attention to their game projects. So it is a good secondary location. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, you've probably realized that everything that I'm talking about here is pretty much common knowledge. And you may have even realized that I'm actually just using the flimsy excuse of talking about game releases to talk about some of the people who have supported me throughout this whole venture, sort of as a way of thanking them. And there are people that I wanna mention that I haven't said yet, such as the Cloud9 Studios guys, they were there from the beginning. Of course, there's William the Unpro Pro, who's been a fantastic collaborator across multiple videos. And hell, I'll even throw Esh from Fiction Addiction in there, even though we didn't collaborate on our RPG Maker video, I still appreciate the opportunity to sort of spread my wings and talk about different things. I mean, those different things were still, you know, RPG and game development related, but still. And of course, none of this would be possible without all of you who have watched, liked, and commented on the videos. If it wasn't for you, I don't think I would have made it this far. Now, be sure to show some love to all those people who I mentioned by clicking the links down in the description below. Who knows, you might even find your new favorite RPG Maker personalities or some friends of your own. Well then, I guess that's it. I've been John Benderwaffles Aljets, and I hope that you guys all keep creating because I look forward to seeing what you make. Oh, and uh, have a good one. All right, well, I guess that's it then. What to do? Hmm.